Ms. Thank you very much. Sen Senator Monsion, my question is about the immigration of Anglophones towards Quebec. I'd like to hear your thoughts. You mentioned that the Quebec population or Anglophone Quebec popul the, the Anglophone population in Quebec is not declining. You've mentioned a few immigration strategies, but maybe you can tell us which ones would be useful for QCGN. Apologies for that kerfuffle. What what strategies would be important for the English speaking community in view of the demographics that we are facing, which is an, an increase? Is that your question, Senator? Yes, uh, and about immigration, because we th this study is about immigration and how is that uh, impacting your communities? Because you said in your comments that the English population in Quebec is growing, so. The, and uh, in the, on the other side, the francophone uh, immigration is reducing. So uh, I just want to hear you on this. So uh, this is probably going to be a two-parter with Stephen um, working on the second piece of this. For sure, you know, immigration, what has been particularly interesting for us in um, examining and, and, and monitoring the success small but important success of the francophones in rest of canada is they have been able to um to have newcomers immigrants attach to the french language communities in the different cities attachment to culturally and um and linguistically is 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 what the francophones in rest of canada want from the immigrants coming in so for 4% four, 4 wasn't enough 10% 12% the the fcfi is looking for in quebec and this is a long tradition and a history of uh, english speaking quebec is that um the, the 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 people coming in are not coming in necessarily to be part of the english speaking community they are coming in for different reasons and the attachment to the notion, the concept, the framework of English-speaking Quebec is not is not c'est pas au cœur de 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 la stratégie. Is not at the heart of the strategy. One of the uh, most as the English speaking community over the last 50 and 60 years have have identified itself more and more as a minority community, because 60 years ago, I don't think that many English speaking Quebecers, Anglophones in, in quotes, would have seen themselves as uh, as part of a minority. Now, in Quebec, more and more English-speaking Quebecers see themselves as a minority. They're not Anglophones, they're Greeks, they're Italians, they're Chinese, they're Punjabi. They're so diverse that the, the sense of belonging to a minority community is a bit, uh, it's not quite the same. So the strategy for English-speaking community in Quebec has not been in, in in our opinion, and we need more research on this, and that's what we've been saying to IRCC, we need to look at what a strategy for connection to community would look like in Quebec. It can't be the same as in rest of Canada, and we believe in what rest of Canada is doing. The, the, le, le, uh, c'est s'attacher à la communauté. It's about being attached to the Francophone community. Wanted to do. It would it would be a different thing because they can't come to our schools, right? Because of uh, um, uh, because of Bill One Hundred One, they can't the the um, the insertion into the English speaking community is is different. So we need our own strategy. And we've been asking IRCC for years now to help us 
figure out what would it mean in Quebec to have uh, an immigration policy. We'd, I don't think we'd call it an immigration policy. Even the term would be probably be different. We are so different, but we 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 have we are encouraging this to be done in rest of Canada because you don't want that same. We don't want that decline in rest of Canada, but what's d being done in rest of Canada cannot be done in Quebec. Have another question. I'll keep it for the second round. 